He's the man credited with answering one of the great scientific questions, and today Professor Peter Higgs was very much the centre of attention as he returned to the University of Edinburgh following the announcement at CERN in Switzerland on Wednesday, confirming that the particle believed to be the Higgs boson had been found. At the beginning, I, I had no idea wh whether it, a discovery would, would be made in my lifetime because we knew so little at the beginning about where this particle might be in, in mass and therefore how high an energy machines would have to go before, before it could be discovered. And it, there's been a, a very long uh, development over the years of the technology of building machines at higher and higher energy. And uh, the uh, LHC is, is the one which, which has been energetic enough and, and also uh, uh, intense enough in, in terms of its, the, the particle beams to do it. For fellow physicists like Dr Victoria Martin, who studied under Professor Higgs and has worked at the Large Hadron Collider at CERN, this discovery has meant a huge amount. It was hiding in the place that was almost the hardest to find. Because the Higgs boson doesn't live for very long, it disintegrates, it decays into other particles. and. We, the, the mass, the particular mass that it has, means that it decays into particles that are actually really hard to detect. And actually in Edinburgh, that's one of the, the channels that we're looking at. We're also looking at some of the other ones, and that's the results that actually came out. But it, it, it was really like chasing it down to the very last little hiding place it could be. And that's where it was hiding. So that was actually very satisfying to, just to finally see it there after analysing the data for, for quite some time. Today, the university announced details of a new centre to be named in honour of Professor Higgs, which will support further research into theoretical physics, with three quarters of a million pounds pledged to support scholarships and new staff. The new centre uh, is reflects on the one hand that this is an international effort, so we will be bringing uh, scientists from around the world to Edinburgh, uh, bring them together. Uh, it's very difficult to plan uh, for big ideas that are going to make the sort of breakthrough that uh, Peter Higgs has made. But if you bring the brightest minds in the world into one place and let them rip, then you hope that one of them will be the next Peter Higgs who will have the next big idea and Edinburgh will be uh, part of having uh, achieved that next big step in our understanding. So what next for Professor Higgs, a man now strongly rumoured to be in line for a Nobel Prize? As he once more posed for the cameras, the answer seemed simple. What I hope to do next will be no different from the things which I have been doing for a long time in my retirement. Uh, the only problem I, th I think will be that I shall ha have to dodge the press to continue. <laughs> This production is brought to you by the University of Edinburgh.